Here we go. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Paul from Tucson. Anyway, I just recently got a Phalanx in from Tar Hill Ants. I filmed a, a video earlier where my flash wasn't working, and so I figured I'd just start over. Um, I just connected these guys about four or five minutes ago. Um, so they are previously in a mini hearth, which they were outgrowing. And I called Mac up at Tar Hill Ants and said, I want something. What do you have ready for shipping right now? He said, I've got a Phalanx. I've never done a Phalanx. So I said, send the Phalanx. Um, this Pogo Colony, I caught them. Uh, caught the Queen back in, I want to say it was July of 2016. Wasn't producing any brood, laying no eggs. Thought maybe she wasn't fertile. Uh, and then I think I started to see... Eggs around March, April this year. Had her first, first anictic, and then just absolutely blew up from there. So um, you got about 50, 75 ants in the mini hearth, and she's uh, they're definitely in need for a larger home. Um, uh, you know, the phalanx. This will be my first time. I think it's a little bit of an awkward setup with a very large uh, foraging area, which. Um, is much larger than the nest. It's kind of awkward. I like the idea of the big foraging area, but it's, it is slightly awkward. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to film the uh, the transition into the, the new nest, which they are definitely, um, definitely accepting. I uh, put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes just to relax them a bit, and then I brought them out here, had three escapees, which I was able to, uh, to, uh, corral in relatively quickly, uh, in the previous video that I did, which I probably won't end up posting, I said, um, these guys are so incredibly active in the foraging area of the, um, mini hearth that it's very difficult to feed them, I typically have to, um, put them in the refrigerator, clean the nest, and feed them, so having, you know, having the nice, foraging area and I've, you know, having some room to put some, um, uh, um, flu on down so they can't crawl to the edge. I think I'll be able to feed them better, um, keep them hydrated better. Uh, this obviously has the nest mates, which, um, uh, as you can see right there, that little tube with the red stopper, uh, has a fine mesh on the inside. So I fill it with water and gives them an opportunity to hydrate. And when the water runs dry, I typically just, you know, or they will, abandon it so it gives me time to pull it out get more water in there and uh, get it back in there so I've, I've kind of struggled with keeping them hydrated in the mini hearth because they're just they're so active unlike other species where I can um, very easily pop the lid put a new water feeder in there or food or something to hunt, drop a honey sugar or whatever these guys just you know I, I get escapes every time so I've kind of resorted to having to chill them when I uh, when I um, uh, well I'm going to feed them or manage the nest so it'll be nice to get them in a, a larger uh larger home where i can uh or where they can one grow and i can keep up with the uh the upkeep a little bit better anyway i was um hoping we would be able to see the queen which i don't i don't see that she's come through yet but yeah i'm so incredibly excited about this colony they have done so well and they're definitely overdue for a new home but yeah, I can see that they're finding the water tower, the nest mate up in the upper left hand corner. So, and I left a drop of honey up up top, which they're already enjoying. So, so far, so good. I was hoping to see the queen come over. It's always a great moment to see the queen come over. <coughs> Excuse me. And guys, I'm sorry for not posting videos uh, on a more regular basis. I've just been, work has been keeping me busy and I get home and I'm just over at the liquor cabinet, pouring some whiskey, and just have little interest to do much else after making dinner. Um, 
I don't, you know, if I don't have anything really new to share, but uh, obviously I've got something new to share. Uh, this has grown to be one of my one of my more enjoyable colonies just because they're growing. They grow so rapidly and thinking I lost the queen, um, you know, due to how long it took her to actually start producing and uh, how well they're doing now is just, uh, I just, uh, I truly enjoy this uh, colony for that purpose. I just need to see how quickly they've grown, and I think I'm confident and I'm I'm hopeful that they will um, excel in this uh, this environment. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some protein in there. Because I'm walking back and forth, I may have missed the queen. So if you guys do see her, okay, just drop a little bit of protein up top. Oh man, they're, these guys are going to be in hog heaven, getting regularly fed. Which, for as little as I fed them, I'm surprised how well they've done. And a lot of that's just come down to the fact that, um, you know, they're just so active. I haven't had a chance to really, uh, you know, keep up with them. So. I'm, I'm really optimistic that this will be a, uh, a good move for him. And we've got quite a, I don't have much of a group up here in the foraging area, which is interesting. Figured I'd see more of them, only, only two. Okay, has our queen come through yet? I don't see her. I don't want this video to get uh, too lengthy, but I was hoping we could uh, capture the queen's uh, queen's movement, but we may have to just wait. And this is a double-sided phalanx. I can uh, I can view them from both sides. All right. Well, I'm gonna run in see how the ants in the foraging area are doing. I shoved them in the fridge to cool them off a little bit, so I can try to move them. So I'll be right back. gotten a queen yet and you know part of me is I don't I don't think I've ever actually maybe with the real small colonies I've seen the queen move this is a little bit more a little bit larger of a colony I'm kind of interested to see if uh, you know, she comes over with an entourage or not Just moving some ants over from the foraging area as they wake up. So what you're listening to is I'm just grabbing them with tweezers, or actually they're kind of crawling up with tweezers, and they're not biting the tweezers.
Stop hiding the tweezers. Come on. These guys have a powerful bite. Damn it. Okay, I've got one problem. Come on, get off. They're all starting to become a little more active. We've got to be careful because I do not want to take a bite from one of these guys. So I am going to go put them back in their refrigerator. Well, let's see if I can control this. So. As they come out, drop them in. I think I kind of got a system going here. Got them. Okay, so I've got all of them from the foraging area moved over. And they are going to town with the two crickets I put in there. And they are enjoying the Just uh, scroll up here. With the exception of two of these guys, the rest of them I um, came from the other foraging area. And let's see if I can look in the other side. Let's see if I can see the queen over there. There are still quite a few ants left over there. It's amazing how big this colony's grown and you know, how many are still hiding in the uh, in the other nest. So guys, I think I'm going to call this a video. We're already at 13 minutes, so those of you that have stuck out this long, thank you. I appreciate it. No prize for you, but uh, well, I'll probably come back tomorrow or maybe later in the week and... Uh, you know, film these guys once they've uh, once they've moved over. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, appreciate it. Like and subscribe. That's what YouTubers say, right? <laughs> well, hey, look, we got we got some interesting stuff going on up top. Going after that cricket. Yeah, they're gonna be happy here. I'm I'm really excited for them. So yeah, that's cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night.